up, hope you're all okay. Um, it's Jerry's birthday today and he's still in his box, so I didn't really want to move him, so he's going to just sit there while we do this. I've got a little craft for you to do that you could have a go at at home. So for this craft you will need a pen or a pencil, some scissors, you might want some glue, but I'll talk about that in a minute. You'll need some sort of dish that you can put water in. So I'm going to put my water in now. You don't need too much. You could use a bowl, anything like that. That should be enough. Okay. And you need some paper. Now you can use different sorts of paper. You can use just any normal paper you've got around the house. Um, anything that you've had through your door, so um, catalogues, that sort of thing will work, or old magazines, or newspaper, okay? And depending on the thickness of the paper, you might want to glue two sheets together, alright? Because it will produce a different effect depending on the thickness of the paper. So, it's called Magic Flowers. What you're going to do with your pen is you are going to draw a flower or a star on your paper. Okay, so I'm going to start by doing a circle. There's my circle in the middle. And then round the edge you need to draw some petals. Like that. The petals need to be touching the centre of your flower. You could have a different shape in the middle of your flower if you wanted to. So you might have a square or a hexagon or a pentagon. Have a, have a little play with different shapes. I've done a couple here, look. Okay, and you can change the shape of your petals as well. Okay, so when you've drawn your flower, the next thing to do is to cut it out. And here I've got some that I've already prepared. Okay, so you can see that I've cut it out. You need to cut it right down to the center of your flower. That's important, like that. Okay, right. If I just show you this one, this one is from a magazine, and you can see that I've used two different patterns from the magazine to give a different effect there. So, when you've got your flower cut out, you're going to fold the petals in, like this, going round, folding in each one on top of the others to get them ready. Okay, so that one's ready. This one here that I've got ready, I've just put two layers of newspaper. Can you see that? They're not stuck together, but there's two layers of newspaper. We can see what happens with that one. And this one is two layers of newspaper, but I've stuck them together with some glue. Okay, so they're stuck together, just to show you what happens. And I think I might get this one ready as well. So I'm going to fold the petals in this one. Sorry about that noise, it's the dog playing with the ball. Okay, so now we're ready for the magic. Okay, I love this activity because it's really exciting what happens to the flowers. So you are going to put your flower in the water and watch what happens. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Right, I'm going to put some more in. So this one is newspaper. I might put a few in at a time and then you can watch them all. to open. I'm going to do one that's just got one layer of newspaper and show you how quickly this one works. Let's pop this one in. Oh, that one's opening up now. 
Might need to keep moving them away from the edge. They do seem to move around a little bit while they're doing this as well. Right, this one, I'm gonna pop it in. Wow, look at that. That was really, really quick, that one. These ones are still taking time, so that's because they've got two layers. So have a play around with any paper that you've got at home. Just check with your grown-up before you cut it up. Um, I've also got one of these stampers, which is how I've managed to cut out so many that all look the same. So if you happen to have one of those, it's a good use to have one of them. And have lots of fun playing around with that. Okay, hope to see you really soon. Bye.